and that also gets me to my next question. Let's talk about India, right? Uh, where do you see India on the map when it comes to the semiconductor industry? What kind of strengths do you think we have and we can leverage those and we can make maybe make ourselves the world leaders when it comes to the semiconductor space? So, Abhinandan, Achutan. So, when we talk about India in the semiconductor industry, the major positives that we have is we have a very big consumer market so and uh, right now the government also is giving a giving out a lot of policies to you know help the semiconductor industry like how uh, they've come up with a new uh, national uh, electronic policy or something which gives you a 50 percent uh, you know rebate on your uh, investment on your uh, fab setting up your fab or something like that and even big automotive companies like tata are uh, you know partner partnering with uh, chinese companies what i heard for their uh, now because of this uh, crunch what we have for the semiconductor uh, chips for their automotive cars so they are partnering with them for their own manufacturing for uh, their own automotive so I think the ecosystem is all set and ready for India to be a very uh, to have a very big platform for the semiconductor industry. Rightly said, Abhinandan. Like uh, I would like to add few things. Like uh, uh, government, Indian government is also supporting in a great way. Like uh, if you guys have heard, like recently government have started India Semiconductor Mission (ISM). So uh, if you follow that, there are like. If they are conducting seminars and uh, conferences to uh, pull semiconductor industries to India. And also recently uh, this uh, semiconductor fab has uh, like they have planned to uh, establish a fab in uh, Gujarat. I think uh, Fox, Vedanta and Foxconn combinedly are about to uh, establish near in Gujarat I believe. So just last week it happened. Uh, I mean they decided the place where the fab is going to come. So, so likewise, the government is also improvising, and moreover, if you see India in a big picture, uh, India uh, being uh, one of the most populous country, and also uh, with institutes like Maven, we have more uh, skilled uh, uh, workforce. See, just uh, just to add on that, see, we have people, but skilled people we don't have. Manufacturing wise, not on the design or a verification or a PD side. We are already experts on that, I would say, because earlier maybe, you know, we don't, we just using a, like, we are just doing some, you know, ka, kind of a only uh, verification or a PD uh, kind of, but nowadays in India, like, you know, everything is end to end, like, we just owning a one SOC and we are doing a complete end to end, like, from design architecture right to a silicon bring up. That is a part, it is already done and many, many companies were doing, even a startup companies are doing that one. When you come back, uh, when, you, uh, when you come to the, Manufacturing, for example, uh, like we don't have a skilled labor on that. So government, first thing is like they are already proposing with the uh, incentives and all. I think after that, it, this this kind of a uh, you know thing will come up. Maybe they'll uh, they'll uh, go to the colleges and they'll make it as a uh, one of the course as a manufacturing. I, I believe some of the IITs already came up with this syllabus okay. on that. So the thing is like um, uh, like. I mean, just to add on the ITI or this part, uh, they'll add up this kind of a manufacturing as a one of the syllabus and they'll make it out like, you know, this is a one of the course for you. So this would help for the Vedanta or whatever the company comes up, later Tata or whatever the company comes up, it would be based for them and they'll just, you know, uh, they'll, they'll just add up whatever the company requirement based on the nanometer wise. So uh, that, maybe that will help us more. 